Well, in last week's Bottom Line, we took a look at the way investment firms affect market prices. But speculators aren't just impacting the price for grains and other commodities. Joining us now is Neil Malawson. And Neil, these investment firms have affected agriculture in a really big way. They have. And, uh, you know, in the same way that uh, we saw that in the investment firms affecting grain prices, they're affecting land prices as well. The two are related. And there's been some recent stories about how investment groups are either buying land directly or investing money money in farms, including a story in the Baton Rouge Advocate here last week. Really, there was a frenzy of buying two years ago when commodity prices were soaring. Then, as now, investment speculators were buying up grains as a way to grow their money. It's worked for them in the past, but last year, when the fundamentals of supply and demand caught up to the grains, we saw a steep drop-off both in prices and in outside investment. For long-term investment, ag land is where investors have increasingly turned to. In the last year, land prices have stabilized as commodity values plummeted. However, other commodities have sunk as well, like oil and gas, and even though the stock market it has increased in value, it remains risky, whereas today, tomorrow, and forever, people will have to eat. Now, according to Kyle McCann, that's what makes ag land a magnet for long-term investors right now. One of the things that they've seen when they're looking at the various prospectuses is, is the increase in land values that's occurred over time, and not only on that basis, but also the annual returns from the operation. So both of those are attractive to them, particularly considering the other options they have in a very unstable world where here is an asset that stays here, it's uh, safe, and has been noted to have very steady returns over a long period of time. The bottom line is it's good news and bad news for farmers and consumers. The bad news is that investments mean it's expensive for farmers looking into buying land and it costs even more to rent it. And that's not good when it comes to commodity values and they sink lower. This can add costs for what you pay at the grocery store as well. And Kristen, the good news is, is that a lot of these investment firms are buying land to keep them in agriculture at a time when urban sprawl is buying up land to sink it into shopping centers and real estate development, you know, that includes uh, houses. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like I tell people, when was the last time you heard houses being plowed under for farmland? And it, it never happens. That's true. And don't you wish that you just had your hands on some prime farmland that oh, you yeah. own to rent yeah, out? Yeah, right in a point could pee parish, man. Uh, I'd be I'd be rolling in the dough. We would be. We wouldn't have to have this job. Exactly. But who would give you your ag news? Well, yeah. Yeah, we'd have to. We'd just have our, our, our servant bring it to us. <laughs> Neil Malasso, thanks.